Hey everybody, uh, long time no see. Um, I'm just gonna pull my boobs up real quick. I hope you're not offended. If you are, I don't honestly care. Check it out. All right, anyway, um, I kinda wanna do a October favorites video. I know that I'm sort of like every other annoying bitch on YouTube that does this, but um, I really have a few a few things that I wanna share. It's like six things on that way video. But um, just to share with you, and I'm currently having a really bad breakout, and there's a few products I'm using that are really helping and that have really helped. And, um, and a few hair products too that I'm really, really in love with right now. And a couple fun little festive things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And the first thing I actually have on right now, it's my lipstick. I just bought this today and I'm fucking in love with it, you guys. So it's, um, it's by Revlon and it's called um, Really Red. It's a matte shade, it's 006. And it's just so, so pretty. Um, it's really, really red. It's um, almost fire engine red. And, uh, it was really cheap too, it was like $4. And I've been buying the uh, Revlon, I, I forget what they're called. These are the Color Stay lipsticks. Um, Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. Maybe it's all called that, I'm not sure. But um, no, I think they're different because, okay, this is the cheaper one. This is the one that I bought before, and this is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter. Okay, these are lip butter lipsticks. And this is the red that I've normally been wearing. It's much darker, it's more like a wine color. Um, and I like it, but do you see how shiny it is? I like the matte that this one is. This one's very matte. Um, these are good. They're just really, really moisturizing to the point where if you take, if you just talk, like they kind of wipe off. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of them, but um, it was kind of my first real like play with lipstick. But this is by far my favorite. It's so beautiful. And um, it's very matte. It's not, it's moisturizing, but it's not so moisturizing that it just wipes off. So that's the first thing I really like. Um, the next one is this Essie Nail Polish, and I'm not wearing it right now. Um, this is by that Nicole brand by Walmart. Um, I don't, I like the color of it. It's just really shimmery. Let's see. I'm actually going to put a little layer of this on real quick on my thumb because as you can see, it's almost all gone. So let's just paint this real quick. My phone's probably going to be vibrating this entire video too, so I'm really sorry about that. And I can't paint my nails, you guys, for anything, so just uh, don't don't criticize my nail painting skill, skills too terribly. My skills. Okay. Um, so this is this one. I can't really tell if, um, can you guys see that? I can't, I don't know. Um, but it, it's much more red than this one. Um, it's a bit darker, and it's also, it looks like it's going to dry kind of matte. Um, whereas these kind of have like a glimmer, a, like a shimmery color to them, which you probably can't tell because I have the worst camera in the history of cameras, but, um, I can tell that it's going to be a beautiful color. So, um, I just, I love everything that Essie has. I have a couple different Essie nail polishes and they're just, their brand is just so awesome. This is one that's just really, really glittery. I love it. Um, this is another one. It's just a really pretty, um, like baby pink, soft baby pink color. I think I have a couple more. I don't know. I have a bunch of different nail polishes, but that is about to be my new favorite. And I, I really like the reds right now. Um, and they're, they're getting really popular right now. Um, just because they're coming more in season and, you know, during the like fall holidays, like, um, Thanksgiving and Christmas and October, or like Halloween and all that, it seems like those reddish colors are just much more, um, festive. And so you can really pull them off easier. I think like I will wear a red lip, like, all year round. I don't care. I just think it looks really good. And, um, I feel really confident when wearing red lipstick or red anything, if that makes sense. <laughs> For those of you guys that are just like, it's just lipstick. I don't think it matters. Um, it really does. Like, I feel like it makes you feel like powerful. It makes you feel really confident. It's just like, cause it's so dramatic and, and just so it's just such like an attention getter. And I just really like it. Um, I also, um, it's easy to do your makeup if you have red lipstick because you don't really do like a lot of eyeshadow and everything. So you can just do like a simple like, you know, like skin tone eyeshadow basically and like eyeliner and red lipstick, which is what I have right now. And it's just the red lipstick is such a pop that you don't really need anything else. So it's really easy to just to, I'm trying to dry my nail off, um, just to do that. And, uh. I just think it looks good. So right now, if you're kind of like, I don't know if about it, try it for the winter holidays, like for Christmas and especially, 
I think you'll find that you can pull it off during that because then you can blame it on, oh, it's not hot for the holiday. I'm wearing red for the holiday. But anyway, so those are two fantastic products. I love them right now. The next thing is, um, I think I've talked about this before, the Simple brand. Um, I don't know if I had this though, the facial wash. I know that I had the, what is this, moisturizer, um, which I love. It's just, I feel like by using these and switching over, like, I've stayed a few weekends at my mom's house recently for personal reasons, but um, using, like, products that she has or products my little brother has for, like, face wash and stuff, they have a lot of different chemicals in them. And these are just very, very natural. And um, it just, I've noticed that using the more, like, chemical versions of things and using, like, the really, like, strong acne medications has not helped with the breakouts at all it's actually kind of started them worse and made them worse than they were before whereas this stuff like just using this for a couple days like this one i have a really big one right there and um it's already gone down substantially and uh so these are just really great products like i'm trying to get more into like that healthy lifestyle of eating and and just using products that are all natural and that kind of thing and good for you and and all that and these definitely count they're pretty inexpensive they last for a long time they're really really good products so um i would definitely check out something in, in the simple line this is just a really good face wash um anyway next thing is hair and um i've been using two hair products basically every day um the first is this l'oreal um ever creme sulfate free moisture system and it's the cleansing conditioner one they just came out with this um I've tried this brand before, back when they first came out with the sulfate-free things, and I think that um, Evangeline Lilly, excuse me, that just, I probably just took the whole camera, um, Evangeline Lilly, she, I think, was like the spokesperson for them on the on the commercials and everything. It might have been Olivia Wilde, I don't remember. But I remember thinking, that chick's fucking beautiful, I'm going to try that stuff, my hair will look awesome. Well, this is when they didn't have the cleansing conditioner. They had the shampoo and conditioner. And I tried that. The conditioner was just not conditioning enough. And the shampoo, like, I just felt like, after I used it, my hair was just so, like, matted together and stuck to the top of my scalp. It just was terrible. It was awful, awful, awful. So when this came out, I was like, that's kind of like what Wynn is. You know, that Wynn product they always show on the infomercials. It's like the cleansing conditioner and Alyssa Milano's, like, advertising it or whatever. I've wanted to try it for a long time, but I can't justify spending $30 on a cleansing conditioner. I just can't do it. That's just fucking ridiculous. Whereas this was like $6, which still is expensive in my opinion, because it's a tiny ass little bottle. It's eight ounces of product. And um, so the first day I used it, I thought it was fine. Um, my scalp was fine. The rest of my hair though was very, very dry still. So I had to use another conditioner afterwards. And um, but it, its biggest claim is that it doesn't uh, it doesn't strip your hair of the natural oils, and um, I definitely believe that because it's been almost two weeks now since I've been using it, and I'm not having to use really any hair products um, outside of you know this. Like I just use this, and on the very on the ends I'm using the Suave Keratin uh, Color Hair Conditioner. It smells really good. Um, I actually added it in with. Um, my hair color when I colored my hair last which was like two weeks ago a little bit longer than that and it's held a lot better um, just using this after I like when I rinsed the, my, the color out and shampooed my hair hardly any color came out like it really really stayed um, and this I've been using on my ends and um, it just it's helped so much like this product is so so good and um, I mean I'm just noticing like how the natural oils on my hair are just gradually getting down to the, the ends of my hair and I'm not having to use as much conditioner every day I don't have to use as much conditioner um, so this is definitely worth it if you have dry hair especially if you have like color shaded hair or curly hair or straightened like heat heat damaged hair this is fantastic which I have all three um, especially if you have curly hair I would really really suggest getting it um, just because you might have to continue using a conditioner but um, curly hair already has a lot of dry issues like just because of the way that our hair strand is formed, um, the cuticle is always open on curly hair. And so you're losing losing so much moisture that way. And especially if you straighten over it and everything like I do, you're just you're just drying the fuck out of your hair so badly. So if you can avoid using a shampoo, that's the best option altogether. Um, for a while, I was just using conditioner, but then after about two weeks, I'd have to wash it anyway. And so I'd strip all the oil out of it again. And um, it just was kind of a bad idea. But this is fantastic. Um, 
I, I love it. At first I was really unsure, so I've kind of held this off for a little while, but it's been about two weeks now, and I really, really, every day that I use it, I like it even more and more. So, um, yeah, and it smells so, it smells so good, like it kind of smells like, I think it's just smell like chamomile or something, um, but it kind of has like a, I don't know, it kind of has like an herby, like, vanilla smell to it, like it has like a hint of vanilla, but it smells a lot like herbs or something, um, I love it. It's really, really good, you guys. But I think that's all of my little favorite things that I've been using. I think that's it. But um, yeah, anyway, if you guys have any questions about anything or um, you have your own favorites, you're welcome to like leave a video response or comments or whatever you want to do. Um, I'd be really curious to hear about it. But I'm probably going to go paint my nails, which this one is, it's pretty dry now. Um, oh my God, it's so much darker. I love it. I don't know if you guys can see. This is the one I just did. Um, it's just more like a high gloss. Like, it's not shimmery or anything. It's just really, really pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, I'll probably post a picture of my nails afterwards on Facebook. So if you guys want to check that out, I will put a link to my Facebook in the bottom. And you guys can go add me on Facebook and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, well, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a good week. Bye.